What is going on guys? So today I wanted to walk you through the on-go COVID-19 antigen self-test step-by-step. -step. Now, there is an app that you can download. Uh, it comes with a little app card. You can do this. It's going to help you walk through this, uh, this, this, the steps as well, and it will help you read your, um, your results. But I'm just going to show you how to do it because it's also just as simple as some of the other ones that are out there on the market. So again, step-by-step -step on the on-go uh, COVID-19 antigen self-test are pretty straightforward. So first things first, we want to make sure we have everything. Now, in the box, you do get two tests. So I'm leaving a whole set of tests where they are. I'm not going to mess with those. You need to get out the the uh, the actual testing uh, strip. You need the nose swabs. You need your fluid pack and your fluid cap. The way you're going to start this off is you are going to peel this cap, uh, the fluid off right here, and you're going to put this down. You're going to go ahead and place this right here in the holder. Okay. Now we're prepared to begin the test. What we're going to do is we're going to then open up the testing card. We're going to pull this guy out just like this. And we're going to, without touching any of these, uh, any of this stuff, we're going to lay this down because we're going to—that's where we're going to actually place uh, the, the the fluid once we're done here. Then we're going to take out the the actual swab here. Okay, so we're going to open up the swab, just like this. We're going to peel this open, like this, if we can get it open here. These swabs are a lot smaller than some of the other tests. I kind of like these little compact ones here. So we're going to pull the swab out, okay? And then we're going to circle it around five times slowly in each nostril for about a total of about 15 seconds. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do a few extras for good measure. Then we're going to switch noses. One, three, four, five, six, seven, and that right there. Okay, then we're gonna take the fluid, or the, the nose, actually the nose swab once it's done, and we're gonna put it down in the fluid, okay? Now we're gonna kinda mix it around in here a couple times. We're gonna swirl it around five or six times and kinda let it, let it soak in here, okay? Now just like some of the other tests out there, the sides of this little container here are uh, soft. So as we pull out the swab, we're gonna use it to kinda squeeze all the fluid out of the swab, as much as the fluid as we can out, because we wanna get as much of that contaminated uh, nose junk in there as we possibly can. We can discard the swab, okay? Then we're gonna take the cap and we're going to push it down inside this little uh, little area here, right? We're gonna go push it all the way down as flat as we can, right, so that it's nice and contained. And now what we have is basically an eyedropper, okay? We're gonna take this, and we're going to put three drops right down here into this little hole right here where it has little drops right there. We're gonna put three drops in there. So we're gonna tip it over and we're gonna squeeze out. We're gonna go one, two, three, just like that. And now we can wait. Now we can we can discard the fluid here. The rest of the fluid is not necessary. Now it's going to sit here for about 10 minutes. We can let this kind of sit and do its thing. It's gonna soak. You're gonna see this over on this far side here. You're gonna leave this on a flat surface, but I'm gonna show you. You're gonna see this start to fill up with the fluid. The fluid is moving from here down through here, okay? Um, the control, which is C, is gonna ha should have a line, okay? If T has a line, According to their instructions, that means that that is a positive detection. Okay, so C should always turn purple. C is fine. That is just control. That's just telling you that the that the test is 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 working. Okay, T is the one you're looking for. If you see T, even a faint line, that is considered to them a positive test. If it just shows the C and after 10 minutes you do not have a T, then you're also good, you're good to go. You're, that's considered a negative test. Invalid, if the C doesn't come up, you got a test that's kind of bunk, um, it's busted, you're gonna probably wanna retest. So just in this short time as I'm talking here, you can see my C, uh, if I can show you, is actually already, there's already a line. So I'm good to go. Now I just need to wait 10 minutes and see if anything shows up in the T column to know whether I'm positive or negative. And that's it, it's that simple. The on-go test, very, very simple and easy to use, easily available on Amazon. So if you're looking for something like this, definitely consider checking this one out. Uh, but guys, as usual, I hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.